welcome to my channel this is shamshed today we are going to learn executing of our soap ui text scripts through the id see the reason why behind running execution of text scripts developed in soap ui through id to develop a test ecosystem where we can execute and get the consolidated report of my api testings and the functional testing itself so let's go ahead and we'll see how we can do that so let me show you the first the project a sample project which i have created in the soap ui so basically this is a small project i have created you can see over here i have a test suit in which i have a test case and the test steps which i have written these my test steps these are basically my two steps which is basically a, written a simple groovy code to execute it so let me show you to execution of this so you can see what results we are getting it let me close this one all of them now let me execute this one so you can see the results over here if i execute the phone you can see the results over here so this is my ex output execution of my these test steps I can execute the same thing by clicking on test case. If I click on test case, it will execute all the test cases which is written over here. It can show me the results that the step one is a pass, step two is a pass with the name of the test cases. So now this is the way we execute our test cases through the SOAP UI. But how we are going to use this project, these test cases into our ID when we developing an automation solution where we require to execute our API, so RESTful API test cases through the single automation solution. So for that, for that let's go and launch the Eclipse. Yeah. So let's first, before uh, going ahead, we create a simple Java project. I'm going to create a Java project. Let's give name of this. So PY integration. Eclipse. So I did this one. So this is what I have done over here. Basically, uh, SOAP UI test scripts we execute through the J unit, the J unit framework. J unit framework is basically a framework which provide the libraries, functions, and all to execute our test to write a write and execute our test scripts when we developing our automation solutions. So let's for that what I'm going to do on the source first I'm going to create a package giving the name of com dot UI. This is the package name I have given. If you work on the Selenium or any other to on the uh, Java programming language, you see you were familiar with the package and the Java project which we are doing it. So now I'm going to create uh, J, one J unit test case. Let me give the name test integration over here. And now uh, just at this point of time, let's forget all these functions which is written over here, methods written over here. Let's click on the finish. So, by using a complete functionality of JUnit, I need to add the JUnit library. So, this is the library it's asking because I choose over here the JUnit 5. So, I added over here. So, my files are added. Now, going forward, whenever we integrate any library, any uh, tool or library, so we have to, you know, we have to include the libraries in our projects always. In the similar way in the SOAP UI case, if we want to integrate, communicate with the SOAP UI project, we need to add the SOAP UI libraries. For that, what we are going to do first, let's click on the project, go to the properties, select libraries, click on add external jars. In add external jars, we are going to now include the jar file soap ui jar files i'm using currently using a mac a macbook so in that case wherever my soap ui is told over there there's a folder contain in the contains there's a folder called java in the java it's app 
inside app we have a bin the same same kind of a similar structure you will find if you are going to use a windows where the installation folder of the soap ui you have to go in the bin folder where you can find the soap ui jar file currently i am using soap ui 5.6.2 version so that's the jar file which i have included the soap ui jar libraries i am going to click over here i added it now i have to add other libraries so i again click on this now i am going to lab lib folder inside this same installation folder so over here you can see there are many library files which used by the soap ui so we have to select all of them click on open it will add over here apply apply and close so now by adding all the libraries we are able to access the functions methods has been written for a soap ui so let's go do that so in the soap ui there is a class called soap ui test runner this is my file so i am going to create one object through this soap ui test runner this is my object i have created now to execute my project i need to provide my project file where location where my project file is located so for that what i am going to do i am going to use my object which i have just created and use the function which is called set project file where i have to provide the name or location of my solution so in that case the simplest method is that you create a source one folder in your java project which is like i'm going to create it and call this as src folder in this folder you can copy your project like i'm going to project this is my eclipse integration project i just copied it and paste it in my this folder so the all the artifacts would be available in a one place so that's that is the reason to make us think simply uh, simplify i just copied this project into my java project itself so now let's give me the path of this so i'm giving the path of this so let me copy the name of my project this is what i have given so i have given path now i have to run it my all test scripts which i have written test cases which i have written in that so let me click on this so there is a one function called a run click on it need to add exception so i added the exception now let's run this so this is the result going to be so now you can see the results these are the both results which we have seen into our soap ui test cases let me show you again if i run my intro test case the same results you can see over here that means my test case number intro and the form is executed over here you can see that this is the running steps which a step has been running over here this is the step and giving this information this has been run type as a sequential the first test case one it has been executed my test step intro and after that the phone so in this way we are going to execute our test cases which we have written in the soap ui for restful services we can execute it and in the coming uh, coming like coming session you can find that how we are going when we are going to create a framework using a selenium how we integrate our this soap ui into our selenium 
Selenium framework and execute API testing and functional testing test cases together and get the report you know get the reports and from the single solution so thank you very much if you like this video like and share and for channel support hit the subscribe button and bell icon thank you